Hey, what's happening guys? Uh, today we're going to continue the search for a good DC electronic load that doesn't cost, you know, a few hundred dollars. Yeah. The noise you hear in the background is the air conditioner. It's well over 90 degrees and 80% humidity here in the Pittsburgh area. If yeah, somebody uh, commented last week, they weren't going to watch any more of my videos as long as I had that noise. Boo hoo. Then go watch somebody else's videos. If I didn't have that air conditioner on, I'd probably drop dead. Anyway, you guys have seen this. This is available for about $15 off of Amazon. You know, it's just based on a MOSFET. You can plug it into a USB port, or you can put some wires into it. Fine, coarse adjust. Good for about 3 amps. I like it. Good one. I wanted something bigger, so I ordered this bad boy. And um, while it does the job, it's based on a uh, STM32 microprocessor hidden deep down in there. The programming on this, I'm sorry, it's shit. This is a good load. This is a good design. The programming is wrong. It reads the watts wrong. It's just... If you need just a steady current load, it's fine. If you're trying to characterize a battery or some other power source, this ain't going to do it. This is about $30. That brings us to our latest, which is in this box here. And this is from GearBest. They keep asking me to review stuff, but unfortunately they just don't have a lot of stuff that we do on this channel. They have more consumer goods. But I did manage to find this, so... We'll check it out. You guys, if you're fans of GearBest and there's something on their channel you would like me to take a look at, let me know. Maybe we can make it happen. So this is their entry into the DC electronic load and it should be good for 100 watts according to their website. Very minimalist construction. Nice big uh, aluminum heat sink though. Now this guy is not small. You grab a scale here. It is uh, almost four and a quarter inches long by about four inches high by about two and three quarter inches wide. And for those of you of the Continental Persuasion, got ten and a half centimeters. About six centimeters by about ten centimeters again. So there you go. Pretty cool so far, right? Right. So the instruction sheet tells me basically nothing unless I speak Mandarin. Sorry. I think we can figure it out though. All right, if we look at the back of this guy. We've got a uh, 2.1 millimeter barrel jack and these connectors here, which are for our inputs. So if we take a look here, you can see we have A plus, V plus, V minus, A minus. So that would of course be current in, voltage in, voltage out, current out. and they just need to be ganged together so we can do that we have the technology we can make it better than it was before better stronger faster if you know where that quotes from leave it in the comments down below the only prize you'll get is my respect but hey I'll think you're cool that's worth something right Oopsies. So this is basically what I would call a dumb unit. Why is that not going in? Hold on a minute. Okay, I got them in now. They're actually rising block clamps. I wasn't expecting that. Anyway, what I was saying 
is this is basically a dumb unit. There's no microprocessor involved. The only IC you see on here is a Texas Instruments 274C, which is simply a quad op amp. Everything else here are passive components. So if we plug her in, we see what they've done here is they've just taken one of these simple little, well, you can't see it, now you can. They've just taken one of these simple little volt amp meters and put it in with the circuit. I mean, seriously, congratulations on really low cost design. I like that you, you, they've used off the shelf parts which would make this simpler to uh, repair if need be. And then over here we've got a uh, potentiometer. That's it. Those are the, really the only controls. Okay. The fan immediately starts and now we're showing a little over a half a volt. Interesting. Not sure what's up with that, but all right. So, for our testing pleasure today, I've got us a nice, meaty, expert power SLA battery. Uh, 12 volt, 20 amp hour, or 7 amp hours. That's going to be our power source. So what we need to do now is simply just uh, hook this guy up, right? Well, I have just a thing. Connectors. So, positive goes on this side. Negative goes on that side and we need to jack this up some so you guys can see what's going on there yeah we we'll adjust the camera a little bit there that's not too bad you should be able to see that all right so now we'll connect up to the battery always connect your grounds first folks and okay there we go Fully charged, so it's showing us 13 volts. Is that good or is that bad? We'll find out. Let's bring in a meter. Today's meter will be the Unity UT61E, one of my favorites. And we'll put it in voltage mode and check 12.91 to 13 volts. That's close enough for me. Once again, this is a dumb load. It's not going to calculate milliamp hours or amp hours used or anything like that. It's simply going to allow you to place a load on your power source. So there we go, 200 milliamps. That potentiometer is very sensitive. Just the slightest touch. Wow, it's showing my battery voltage down to 10 volts at 1.65 amps? Okay, see, that's not good. That's really not good at all. I don't like that. So already this is off. Now there is a trimmer pot back here, but I'm not sure what it adjusts because we ha don't have that information. But we're going to figure it out. Let's uh, bring in another meter so we can measure amps as well as volts. Okay, so for our current meter, we'll be using the 0118B. And you have no way of knowing this, but I just spent like 10 minutes looking for a cable. <laughs> Actually a little little jumper wire. So we'll hook this up here on the high side. Let 
Did I just do everything wrong? Is my brain not functioning properly? Yeah, I don't think it is. One moment. I think we're good. So we're going out from the battery through the ANA, which we will set to amps. And into there. And why is that not working? Hey, caramba. I didn't have the meter cables plugged in far enough, so it wasn't reading properly. But now we've got everything set up. So if we turn on here. We're showing 540 milliamps, 580 there. Let's get the light on so you guys can see. Seventy-five milliamps there, set or seven seven fifty there, seven ninety there. Let's see if we can get it set just right on one amp. There's, this is so sensitive at this one spot. Look, we're at 540 milliamps, 560, 570. I'm just trying to get it. And it immediately just goes crazy and jumps way up there. In my book, that is no bueno. All right, 1.48, we got 1.53, it's a little off. Of course, our voltage is only showing 11.3 volts, but if we check it with the unity, we're getting 12.48. So let's find out what this little pot back here adjusts. idea what that's adjusting because it isn't adjusting anything I want it to adjust. Now I see no voltage. What what is going on here? One moment. Okay, I don't know why it stopped reading, but it started reading again. 12 point 12 point eight we got twelve point nine here. just don't know why that is not doing what it should be doing. See, we're still at 12.55 volts. This is showing us 11.1 volts. Amp 1.68, 1.74. I mean, that's close enough, but... Okay, so I guess this is adjusting my load here. That's all that's adjusting. Let's see if there's a way to adjust the voltage reading. All right, if we zoom way in here, I tilt that back so you guys can see deep inside. There is a little pot right there for adjusting the voltage adjust, so. It is adjustable, but honestly, I just don't care enough. Um, blah. It works. It's not impressive. It is what it is. What I will say is, um, it's nice that it's 100 watts. It's nice that it contains no microprocessor and it does contain parts that are easily user replaceable. 
I think the price range at $30 is slightly high. I would price this more in the $20 range, but again, it is what it is. If you need a uh, load that can take some power for testing whatever you know you need to test and you don't need to know about milliamp hours or anything like that this will definitely work for you okay well thanks for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this if you did give me a thumbs up feel free to comment share and don't forget to subscribe thanks to uh, GearBest for sending this out for us to have a look at I appreciate it that's it I'm out peace